We published a, a study this summer in science using the same randomization and statistical techniques to identify specific individual people who are influential in the network. And TechCrunch wrote this article on the front page of their website when this study came out. Dear Clout, this is how you measure influence. Okay? And I got a bunch of nasty calls uh, when, when this article came out. But the reason I put it up is because they had a very good example in that article, which is that if President Obama gives a speech to a bunch of, uh, to, at, a, at a rally uh, to inspire campaign donations, and you just measure how much that inspires a donation, you're not actually measuring his influence over the donation, because people who come to that rally are already Obama supporters, probably already donated elsewhere, and probably are more likely to donate than the average person. You need a counterfactual. What would they have done had they not heard this speech? From that study uh, that was published in Science, we were able to estimate how influence varies or susceptibility to influence varies with traits. Like, for instance, your susceptibility to influence as a function of your relationship status on Facebook. So are you single, are you in a relationship, engaged, et cetera, and here's what we found. Single people are more susceptible to peer influence than people who don't report their relationship status on Facebook. People who are in a relationship are even more susceptible to peer influence than people who are single. People who are engaged are even more susceptible to peer influence than people who are in a relationship. And if you're married, you're not susceptible to peer influence at all, apparently. <laughs> And if it's complicated or you label yourself as it's complicated, you're the most susceptible to peer influence <laughs> in the Facebook network. Um, so we, this is important for marketing, but we're also applying this to several other types of things. For instance, we're using these types of methods to combat election violence in Kenya. Uh, with a project called Peace Text, where we send, have people send messages to their friends to quell the violence. We're also collaborating with Nike to understand how my running behavior influences my friend's running behavior as I share my runs or how fast I'm running, how far I'm running, does that inspire them to run more? And we're also working with MTV uh, to see if we can increase civic en engagement, political awareness, et cetera. So remember. Social networks and peer influence, a powerful tool for accomplishing marketing and social policy in this day and age, and we have to understand causal influence to make that tool work. Thank you very much.